Everyone defaults to using Shopify to sell online, but the truth is Shopify isn't the cheapest or easiest way to start selling. That's why so many beginners get stuck. Shopify looks simple on the surface, but the hidden costs and constant setup can drain your time and your money fast. In this video, I'll show you when Shopify actually works and when it's holding you back. I also introduce you to a new platform that's already making life easier for beginners and it might surprise you how simple that is. Most beginners start with Shopify thinking that they'll pay $29 a month, but to get that rate, you actually have to pay for the full year up front, $348 right out of the gate. If you want to pay month to month, it's actually $39 a month. And once you add the apps that you really need, you're looking at another 200, 300 per month. And that's before you even made a single sale. And that's not even counting the transaction fees. For example, if you sell $1,000 through your store this month and Shopify payments is available for you, you'll pay 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction, which comes out to more than $30. And if Shopify payments isn't available for you in your country, you could be paying even more through third party getaways. So $39 for the Shopify subscription plus 300 for the apps plus 30 for the payment processing, that comes around 317 running costs and that's before you even factor in the product costs, advertising, shipping or taxes. I'm not trying to scare you, if your store is making good money already, this cost might make sense, but if you're just starting out, this can seem like a lot. So how should you start as a beginner? Or even if you're not a beginner, how can you test an idea fast without spending too much upfront? Well, Shopify works if you plan to do dropshipping or you need advanced controls, but for everything else, digital products, print on demand, or if you plan to sell products that you already have in your stock, the platform I found the fastest, simplest, and most flexible is Everbistore. By the way, if you're into practical tips like this and you want to see more videos on tools that actually make selling online easier, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, thanks. So with Everbee Store, you can get a full store up and running in minutes thanks to the AI generation. No complicated setup, themes or endless apps to figure out. If you want to try a different idea, you can just erase your store and start fresh just as fast, which makes testing ideas low risk and quick. Everbee is great for digital products. You don't need extra apps to deliver those downloads. Subscriptions are included too, so you don't have to pay for another app to take recurring payments. On Shopify, most of this apps have a monthly fee and even take a percentage of your sales. With Everbee, it's all built in, so you keep more of your money. If you want to sell physical products, you can list products that you already have in stock or you can connect to Printify and bring in print-on-demand items. No messy setup or juggling apps. Everything is made to be simple and easy to use so beginners can focus on selling instead of wasting time and money on setup and app fees. And there's this one thing you love about Everbee that lets you get started it almost for free and I'm going to talk about that in just a second but another big advantage of Everbee is that it connects directly to Stripe which operates in significantly larger number of countries around 46 compared to Shopify payments which is only in about 23 countries. That means that you can start selling and accepting payments faster no matter where you are. On top of that, Everbee gives you everything you need to get your store started without any extra costs. You get a full online store in minutes, unlimited products, a custom domain with SSL, you can set up automated or manual discounts and abandoned cart recovery emails. For marketing, you can send up to 60,000 emails a month to your contacts, all built right in and you can accept both manual and online orders, making it easier to test any type of product or offer you want. The only downside I see right now is that you cannot connect your Everbee store to any dropshipping suppliers. That would make testing products super super quick. Hopefully that's something they'll add soon. But even with that, what really makes Everbee stand out is how low risk it is to get started. You don't need to potentially spend hundreds upfront on apps like with Shopify. You can launch your store for just $1. Now I know Shopify also advertises a $1 trial for the first three months. But I believe the reason they give you those three months is because they know it usually takes that long to just get your store properly set up with all the apps, themes and configurations you need. 
With Everbee, you don't need all of that. You can have a fully working store up and ready to sell in minutes, which means that $1 actually lets you test your idea almost instantly, not months later. So here's the bottom line. If you're testing a new idea or just getting started, you don't want to waste months and hundreds of dollars before you even make your first sale. Shopify is great for advanced setups and for dropshipping, but for beginners and creators who want speed, flexibility and low cost, Everbee Store makes more sense to me. If you want to give it a try, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And if you want to see me research, create and launch a digital product store in under one hour using Everbee Store, click that video and I'll see you there.